Hello, welcome to Thinking Transportation with Patrick Smith. Conversations about how we get ourselves and what we need from one place to another. Our guest, Adisa Ibrahim, is with the Transportation Institute and is here to help us understand more about that. Thanks for having me, Patrick. Looking forward to it. To begin, I'd like to talk about an experience that many of us have had. Let's say we ordered a package early and it still got there late. Next day delivery turns into next week delivery. Is it fair for me to blame the delivery service or the shipper, or is it more complicated than that? It's much more complicated than that. There are many moving parts that are involved with this delivery supply chain, and really, a breakdown anywhere can cause a missed delivery. If you think about it, there has to be a correct order processing. They have to select the right inventory. They have to select a carrier. They have to put that product on the right route and avoid traffic jams, and they have to find a place to park. There are just so many places along that line where things can break down. And that's why they call it a supply chain, right? Because it's only as strong as its weakest link? Absolutely. That's a fantastic metaphor, and it really is a chain. And I think often we forget the length of that chain that leads up to that person who's standing at our front door. To take one aspect, if you think about the roadway system as a big funnel and think about pouring rice into that funnel rather slowly, it flows through and there really isn't any problem. But if you pour it very quickly, it can lock up. The reality is, is suddenly we've got more trucks on more routes, perhaps routes we didn't anticipate, and our system really wasn't prepared for. And any time we talk about transportation challenges in most conversations, technology gets brought up as a potential area of solutions in the context of freight and delivery. And that would perhaps be autonomous deliveries, drone deliveries. To what extent do you think technology fits into the solution mix in the near term? Technology certainly plays into the solution mix, and it always will. How near term it will be is probably the better question. Autonomous delivery is coming. I think it's probably a little bit of a ways off. There are drones. There are some immediate obstacles with drones related to airspace regulations, noise, privacy, but there are big investments being made. Whenever we have that website open and we're placing that order, there's a big flashing banner that says, free next day delivery or free same day delivery. In reality, that free delivery isn't really free. That's exactly right. It might feel free to you. Next day, free shipping. There's always a cost, and we're all going to, as a society, pay for the impacts of that. It may be environmental impacts. It could be impacts in what we're producing with all this packaging and plastic and unnecessary things that are being produced. Adisa Ibrahim, Senior Research Engineer at the Transportation Institute. Thanks so much for sharing your insights, Adisa. Thanks for the opportunity, Patrick.